There's too much wind on the platform to use matches. I'll have to find some other way to light the fire. Wow, you lit the fire! I'm sure you could have done so if you tried. I'd do anything for a cooked meal. Buck, what can I do for you? There's a cogwheel missing from the drawbridge mechanism. I'll give it to you if you cook me something hot. Unless I want to burn myself, I need something to hold the fish to cook it. That will stop me burning my fingers. That didn't take long to cook. Here, would you like some cooked fish? You bet. You want this cogwheel too? Hmm, I've not seen a fly like that before. I wonder if it's the one Diego mentioned. It looks like the one described in the book. There's even a similar plant growing nearby. I can't capture it with my bare hands. It could bite me. I need to trap it somehow. That didn't work. I wonder if Diego has any ideas. Although I'll need to find a way to wake him up. There's something carved on the pillar, but I can't quite see from here. That flying insect is repulsive and I'm not going near it.
back. What can I do for you? Diego's unconscious. What happened? You took a little nap. So why is my head bleeding? Now that's just weird. I've known Diego since I was a child. Diego? Oh, I took a real whack to the back of my head. But I'll soon be fine. Diego? Oh, I took a real whack to the back of my head. But I'll soon be fine. Where do you want to go? Diego? Yes? What's wrong with the privy? You know the mackerel soup, Kylo, mate? Every member of the crew has been there, uh, you know. Uh, yes, yes, I get the picture. I'm glad I had the tuna. Are you feeling well, Diego? Of course I am. But it's the first time I've ever been knocked out. Anyone else would have split their skull in two. Oh, I took a real whack to the back of my head. But I'll soon be fine. I think I found that sleepy fly you told me about. Do you know how to lure it? I think those flies are attracted to blood. Oh. Could you let me have that bandage you're using? Uh, well, I suppose. My head has stopped bleeding anyway. I hope the blood on the bandage will attract the fly. Where do you want to go? Aha! No bites for more gain, Senor Fly.
A name has been carved on the pillar. Carmine. Tanner must have erected this in honor of Buck's mother. There's a circular indentation just below the name. The stone pillar is too heavy to lift. Ah, something's happening. I think the mechanism has jammed. It looks like a secret entrance. Oh, the mechanism has jammed before it opened fully. It's been standing idle for years and probably needs lubricating. How wonderful and very mysterious. Tanner must have been passionately in love with his wife to create such a place dedicated to her memory. It would be more respectful to leave it as Tanner intended. The water seems to be rising from deep underground. I need something to hold the water. There's about enough for one or two mouthfuls. Or in Diego's case, one little sip. This small trickle of water creates a pleasing highlight. I can't take water from here. It's just a small trickle. It seems like there's something carved here, but it's hard to make out with all this dust. I'll not disturb Carmine's resting place. There's a glass panel in the plinth. There's a golden rod behind the glass. One end has been carved into the shape of a... This must be what Tanner's clue was directing us towards. <laughs> 